Hello and welcome to another video. Today we have the same Renault Megane 2 where I do have a video programming a new card. Now I will start the car and I will try to make a, di a diagnosis because a uh, few subscribers are asking me if it's possible to make a diagnostic with uh, uh, this uh, tool. And it is possible to make diagnostic with this tool, but only on uh, the engine control module and the uh, UCH or body control module. And also to see live data and make a proper diagnostic. When you start the program, you will go on the scan. You have here all, all the modules. If you do uh, these things, uh, it will take more than 20-30 minutes. It is very slow when he uh, scanned this module, all of them. Because, of course, this car doesn't have uh, 40 modules. And we will look for ECM. The problem is also it's... Uh, they are not orange, it's like, okay, we do have here ECM. Like for example, A, B, C, D, some, no, I don't know how they can do like that. But anyway, if you need the modules, like for example, UCH, you'll press on the U and something like that. You noticed between time the, when I press the scan, it is scan finished. And now you should press on the stop and then close. And then over here, Sorry for the glare, but I cannot do better than that. Oh, much, now it's much worse than before. You have here the ECU. Okay. You press only on this, and we will try to go from here from the list on the top, okay? And you can either use your buttons from here, or you can do it like that. Uh, Okay, I should press here on start. If I don't press on the start, he will don't have connection. And now it show me it connected, it's accept. The interface uh, is connected. And you'll notice also it will read the injector's number. I don't know how can I do better than that. Okay, now it's better. Okay, and again we'll press over there, and we will scroll down. Okay, you can program your injectors. Every time when you push the button down, over here, or up, he will take a job from here, he will accept these things, if it will work. If it doesn't work, he will tell you here not accepted. Okay, we will go forward. You notice know, also on engine rotation, air intake, and uh, fuel temperature, and all of them they are here. This is live data. Okay, and so on. You noticed over here he cannot read. Then we have the error unknown issue error. Then this. Let's focus. Can. In can information it cannot read. As I said, when you have the things accepted, he will work.
this is the EGR position. You can also reset the EGR position. But if you want to have better tool than this one, uh, the the red one is uh, pretty shitty. You should take the um, black one. Okay, it is more expensive. It's om almost double the price. But you can do also scanning on the uh, TCM. Yeah, on, on the gearbox. If you have um, automatic gearbox and also on the ABS system with another one. With this one, it doesn't work. Okay, and so on. You go forward. For a cheap uh, diagnostic tool, is not bad at all. You can write over here a new V number if you if it's necessary to put it or to change it, or here he will read automatically. It's not necessary to put uh, to press the button read. You don't have so many options here, but for example, you have the EGR parameters and system information and as I said also on injectors and you noticed it work it is okay it's also good it's not okay it's more than good it's quite fast for uh, chip diagnostic okay uh, I, I cannot show you much more than that. I don't want to make this episode too long because it is not necessary. It was only showing you how you can uh, read all this uh, live data. And uh, let's try to see if we are able to read also errors with this one. Okay, I should disconnect the uh, Diagnostic, I do have here on ECU, and now let's try it again. And you will notice this car it doesn't have a DTC. And you should only select this one, and this one should be green. I might disconnect it. If it's connected, when you are trying to see the live data, it will don't give you the errors over here, the DTC. Let's try to see what he can do more than that. Read and write injectors. Okay, let's try to see. But at this moment the engine is running, you know? I should stop the engine, but I, I don't make a uh, programming right now look you have this error because the engine is running we have the reading server here this is the programming if you want to change one of them you can uh, just delete and press on right and he will do it but not with your engine running okay okay and then read, erase, can, it not work on the can. This doesn't support for this issue. This is for can. And issue configuration. You can play a little bit with these things. You can uh, read from the issue and you can write on the issue. And these things uh, I tried on Renault Traffic uh, 2, and it, it works very good. Okay. Uh, read and write VIN number also over here. You will read. 
you have uh, reset the VIN and put a new one. Okay. Create information. You cannot do so many things comparing with uh, another one with can't keep. But anyway, he can do his job for this money. For example, this one doesn't work. But I tell you in a store, so I didn't know exactly what these things do because I never use this option from here. I use this cable only for K programming and only for this, not for something else. And uh, as I said, once I use it for programming the um, UCH on the Renault traffic and over there I try uh, this kind of uh, features from here. Okay. Not too much to show you because it's also not a great diagnostic tool, but for this money you can also you cannot complain. He can program the, the K. And this is most important because he can program the K and nothing else, okay? Like always, thank you for watching and see us in the next video. Bye-bye.